Hi guys, this is Lee with MelodyLaneBranson.com, BestSelectionCinema.com, uh, where we're going to be having some uh, books on uh, veganism, vegetarianism listed um, for you to purchase. And for all our network marketing stuff and our internet stuff, MelodyLaneBranson.com is kind of the site for that and info and news on Branson. So, uh, But today I wanted to talk about um, what I eat for breakfast. Uh, I know with my uh, older posts you guys might have seen the eight-hour diet is like a big deal uh, because it works. Um, you know, there's a little bit of just a little bit of pain involved, but uh, it's a good diet. It doesn't hurt you. They say that it protects you against diabetes and all the blood sugar issues, certain cancers, um, because they found statistics that after your body is in a fast, certain uh, good numbers go up um, that are that are good. And uh, there was a documentary actually on PBS where the guy uh, was in his 50s or 60s, and he was getting ready to, he'd just try some different things, and he'd make a little documentary about it. It comes on every week, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday on PBS. But uh, he was doing the fasting, where he, but he was actually going for one or two days instead of maybe 16 hours a day or 14 hours a day. And uh, he went back and had a mathematician slash doctor do his numbers, and after every fast, uh, his numbers improved. I, I believe his cholesterol went down. Um, looks like he was staving off uh, diabetes, all kinds of great things. So um, in my last intermittent fasting video, I talked about eating the right things within that eight-hour period. Um, you know, we're just programmed for junk here in the U.S., and they get us through our taste buds. If something tastes good, it, it's all about tasting good, habits, and what you choose. And the 16-hour fast in between the eight hours, they say you can eat whatever you want in the eight hours, but really you should be focusing on nutritious, healthy food. If you do, you're going to continue to lose weight probably even more till you get back to your natural west resting rate. Well, that's a that's a tongue twister. Um, but one of the, I wanted to show you one of the things I eat um, for breakfast. For one, um, natural honey. Uh, we have a farm just around the corner. You know, it promotes the environment. If you buy locally because they're not having to bust that food in as far. It's better for the environment. Um, they're not having to, um, you know, manhandle the food. And it's also encouraging corporations to go, you know, we need to get it together. Uh, the masses are deciding that they want to eat better and they want less pollution in their food, less GMOs. And this is an organic honey. It's pure um, uh, clover honey, actually, is what it's got on the front, if you can see that. Let me freeze it here for you. And pure clover honey. And, um, you know, it tastes great. I think a lot of people think if you go vegetarian, uh, stuff's not going to taste great. So anyway, I've got a little board set up here. And I'm going to show you guys what I do every morning. Now, now sometimes I'll do um, oatmeal and different stuff. But this is something that I can do every morning. Um, we cook oatmeal on Sunday night. And I've got a banana here. You can see um, two apples. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, cut this banana up, cut these apples up. You know, you just got to get you a sharp knife. And I used to make yogurt for a living when I was a teenager. So I can tear a banana up, okay? Here's what the, the uh, banana looks like. And we're just going to chop this rascal, throw those stem away, okay? And you just chop this thing up. Okay. Now, another ingredient um, I like to put, and I like to layer this. So let's make your taste buds, um, you know, let's make it interesting. See, I've got a bowl here, putting it all in. Get a little shot of that for you guys. That's what the bowl looks like. We got this whole set in like, you know, a dishware, like compilation set, maybe at our wedding. Well, that was probably seven years ago, but you throw that in there. Throw those pieces you don't need in the trash. Take a little bit of honey. You know, you're going to layer this thing. It's going to it's going to taste fantastic. Now, it also sets your digestion at ease because when you put an apple in your morning meal, you know, it's going to get you a little bit of fiber for the day. I do, too, because it's um, got a lot of water in it. And you just slice this rascal up. I like to take it cut it in pieces. 
got to watch those fingers. You notice I'm doing the chef tuck there with my fingers. Got to watch them. So, you know, you could even use a duller knife. I like to use a sharp knife. I like to feel like I'm a chef, you know, which I'm not. But I, I'm a foodie. I love food. And thank God, because when I became a vegetarian, uh, my wife and I, we started doing a lot of substitutions for things. And, you know, there's two things you miss when you're you're eating meat. And that's the volume and the fiber and the flavor. And I don't know if you guys out there know it or not, but what creates the flavor in meat is uric acid, which is produced from the urine of the animal. Okay? A lot of people, you know, they eat stuff, and I don't think they think a whole lot about where it comes from. But that's what gives meat its flavor. You can verify that in the book by the Diamonds, Fit for Life, which I'll eventually review um, on here. Now, I've also got something my wife put together. It's just basically like Cheerios, raisins, that kind of stuff. Drop that on top. That's going to give you a little bit of crunch, but you know what? Those cran raisins <coughs> are, fan excuse me, are fantastic for your colon, okay? And a lot of people don't think about their colon and all the, the things that build up in their, their lower and, and upper intestines. I don't know. Am I saying that right? But, you know, you want to start your day out empowering your internal organs. You know, a lot of your emotions come from your stomach, believe it or not. And you want to build up the good bacteria and get rid of the bad bacteria in your stomach. You also want to clean the mucus and different things that accumulate in your stomach and you want to get that stuff out of there you know and start your day off right man you're going to get some things accomplished and let me show you what that's looking like now okay Got too much stuff over here okay you see the apples um you see the the cheerios we're going to put a little bit more honey i don't want to I don't want to nuke my, my blood sugars if I can. Uh, you know, and honey's a good way, I believe, not to do that. I could be wrong. Post on here and tell me, hey, you're so wrong. Here's what you should try. You know what? I'll go out and try it. Uh, but I've had great success with this. And that's what everybody's after. They're after success. Here's the walnuts. I want you guys feeling good out there. Okay? Just put the walnuts on there. I've got another apple. And I won't put any more honey, so that's just two um, deals. If you want this recipe, um, I'm going to post it on my Melody Lane Branson website. It's going to take me a bit to get the page together, but this is a good little thing to uh, get started on. I'm going to cut up another apple, and, and the rest is history. So another shot of that, and man, it's fantastic. Um, add me. You know, add my channel, watch my other videos on intermittent fasting and eight, uh, the eight-hour diet, and uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Have a great day.